Hello fellow guardians, Boltzill plays here bringing you another episode of Where in the Tower is Zer Agent 9. It is the weekend of March 25th through the 27th and Zer is hanging out in the tower hangar. As soon as you get in, swing a right. So let's see what he's got for us this week. Titans, you have the Empyrean Bellicos. Its exotic perk is Anti-Grav Thrusters. Aiming weapons while in the air will hold you in place for a short time. And orbs collected while your super is full will recharge your melee ability. It's got increased discipline or increased strength. Inverse Shadow or Second Thoughts. And better already. Not too bad of a roll on it. Um, not a lot of people are too enthused with this one. Um, it can be viable in some PvP maps. Ones that are within buildings and stuff like that. You can literally, if someone's chasing you, turn the corner, go through a doorway, jump up, and hover over it. And they'll come in wondering where the hell you are, and you just shoot them from above. It's a lot of, like, that type of things where you can just kind of sneak other than that, it's I haven't really seen anyone use anything viable with it. Hunters have the Cresta Alpha Lupi chest armor. Its exotic perk is Keeper of the Pack. Revive fallen teammates and be revived faster. Supers regenerate an extra orb. It's got increased strength or increased intellect. Auto rifle ammo or sidearm ammo. Void Burn Defense or Void Armor. Definitely worth picking up. The Being able to revive and be revived faster is very helpful in PvP, 3v3s and such. Like Trials, it's very good if you're doing Normal Lord Raid or Nightfalls or anything like that. And with Prison of Elders coming back, could be very useful in there too. So I'd say definitely worth picking up. The rolls aren't super great on it, but yeah. Warlocks, the Alchemist Rement chest armor. Its exotic perk is iron to gold. Chance to gain glimmer on primary ammo pickup. Orbs collected when your super is full. Recharge your grenades in melee. Increase intellect or increase strength. Special ammo or heavy ammo. Void Burn Defense, Void Armor. Worth picking up. I mean, the if you need, it's a good item to use for glimmer, grabbing glimmer and stuff. Uh, orbs collected when your super is full, recharge grenades melee, which is always good on a warlock. <laughs> They've got overpowered melees and good grenades, so yeah, it's not a go-to, but it's not. It's a, it's a definitely a good first exotic if you need it. Or a good backup exotic. He's got a gun this week. We have the Invective Shotgun. It's got full auto on it. It's got Accurized Ballistics, Field Choke, or Linear Compensator. Final Round. Quick Draw, Fitted Stock, or Send It. And then its exotic perk is Invective. This weapon regenerates ammo over time. Definitely worth picking up, especially if you like using shotguns. The regen ammo is very nice. It's got good range and good impact and everything. It's not maxed out range or impact, but it should be very, it's usually very viable. Then for the Legacy Engram, aka Year 1 items, he's got a primary weapon engram. So if there's any primary weapons you don't have from Year 1 that you want, that's your way to get it. I hate to say it, but a thorn. That's probably the most viable thing to get out of it. Curios this week, we have the Plasma Drive or the Emerald Coil. Upgrades for your spare, your rare Sparrows to turn them legendary. We have the Heavy Ammo Synthesis, three for a Strange Coin. Three Coins, five for seven Strange Coins. And Glass Needles. Three for three strange coins, three months of light, and an exotic shard. 
Then the material exchange we have for two strange coins, you can get a mode of light. So that was Zer for the weekend of March 25th through the 27th. Make sure to like, comment, share. Let me know your thoughts. Check out my other videos at youtube.com slash C slash Bolts Little Plays. And you can check me out stream from time to time over at twitch.tv slash Bolts Little Plays. Till next time, Guardians. Take it easy.